Hey, what's up YouTube? Well, here's a quick tutorial of how to use Future Restore to install iOS 12.2 and Jailbreak. So a couple of things. First, in this video, we're gonna focus our attention on A7 through A11 devices. So the iPhone 5S all the way up to and including the iPhone 10. But this process will work on all devices, so as long as you've saved your SHSH2 blobs correctly while iOS 12.2 was signed. If you don't have your blobs, then this process won't work. But it will also work for iOS 12.1.3 and 12.1.42. Next up, this process will only work if you're currently on a jailbroken firmware. Now, I've personally tested this on iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 12.2. Now, this won't work from downgrading from a firmware that does not have a jailbreak out, like iOS 12.3 or above. But once a jailbreak is out for it, in theory, it should work. Anyhow, let's jump directly into things. To start, you're going to need to download some stuff. Now, links to all of this are in the article linked in this video's description. So first, you're going to need Future Restore either for Windows or Mac. Just download the latest version. Secondly, you will need the IPSW file of the iOS version that you're restoring to for your specific device. So head to this site and grab that. We can select iPhone, select our iPhone model, and select the version that we want to restore to and click download. Third, we also need to grab our blobs. So I used TSS Saver to save my blobs. If you did that as well, we can go to iTunes, grab our ACID, head to the site and retrieve our blobs here. Just enter our ACID and click get blobs and then click download. So I just threw all of this into a folder on my desktop to make things easy. Now with A7 through A11 devices, we're going to use our blob in our no AP nonce folder. For the iPhone XS, XR, and Max, or any A12 device, we're going to select the AP nonce folder due to nonce entanglement. Now you had to save your blobs a special way for A12 devices, that is why a separate secondary follow-up tutorial is coming for those. For this video, let's start with the easier devices. I will demo this restore on an iPhone 5S on iOS 11.0.3, going to iOS 12.1.3. Now, for whatever reason, my blobs did not save for iOS 12.2, but the latest jailbreak utilities work for 12.1.3, 12.1.4, and 12.2. So 12.1.3 is going to work just fine. So on the device itself, we need to disable Find My iPhone or just sign out of iCloud. Now, as a side note, I would highly recommend to back up your iPhone with iTunes to save user data as this process will entirely wipe the device. Anyhow, now we can download Uncover or Chimera. The main thing here, we just need the ability to set our boot nonce. So we can go ahead and download one of these utilities from Tweakbox or Ignition and go ahead and open it up and enter our boot nonce. Now to get our actual boot nonce, that's going to come from our blobs. So on the computer, we can go ahead and go into the 12.1.3 folder, select no AP nonce since it's an A7 through A11 device. Now if there are multiple files here, just check to ensure that you have the one that is for your iPhone model. So heading into iTunes real fast, as you can see, my iPhone model is 6.1. So that means we need this blob right here in the middle. And again, just to keep things organized, I'm going to copy that to my future restore folder and get rid of the other blob files that we don't need. Okay, on to getting our generator or boot knots. Let's open this file in a text editor, command F to search, just start typing generator and look for this line here. That is our knots. I'll just put this into a text document so it's easy to see. Now, this is what we're going to enter into Uncover. You may have something completely random like I do, or for newer devices, or if you've saved your blobs recently, this boot nonce is just going to be zero times 16 ones. So it really just depends. Just put in whatever is here. Um, it may be easy or it may be complicated like it is in my case. So with that entered in Uncover, we can go ahead and click Jailbreak. Now this will jailbreak our devices, but that doesn't really matter as Future Restore will completely wipe the device back to stock iOS. So like I said, definitely make an iTunes backup of your data before we continue. 
So with all that in place, with Find My iPhone off, with our boot not set, we can connect our iPhone to our computer, if you haven't already, via a standard lightning cable. And again, on the computer side of things, I downloaded the Blobs, I downloaded Future Restore, and I downloaded the iOS 12.1.3 firmware for my iPhone 5S Global. So, once all of that is ready to go, we can go into a terminal window. We're going to go ahead and drag and drop Future Restore into it. Then we're going to type this command, negative T. Then we can drag our blob into the window and type dash dash latest dash baseband space dash dash latest dash SCP. And then very lastly, we're going to drag in our IPSW file and press enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this command on screen now so you guys can enter it exactly. It's also located down below in this video's description. And pressing enter here is going to start the restore process. Now, as of recording this video, using the commands latest baseband as well as latest SCP will work when restoring to iOS 12.1.3 to iOS 12.2 as the latest SCP in iOS 12.4 is fully compatible with these earlier firmwares. There's also no Fortnite bug where it's going to kick you out of your iOS device in two weeks. That doesn't occur anymore. So you're completely safe to do this process as of recording this video. In the future, however, you may need to manually specify the SCP and baseband files, and we have a dedicated, longer, more detailed tutorial for doing the restore that way. I'll link that down below, too. So now, while the restore is going on, you can monitor its progress in the terminal window, but this should take about 10 to 20 minutes. Anyway, I'll be right back. So there we have it, guys. Now we're on iOS 12.1.3. I would highly suggest to set the phone up as new, but you alternatively can use an iTunes backup to restore your user data. Now we can just download either Uncover or Chimera, again on Tweakbox or Ignition, to jailbreak on iOS 12.1.3 to iOS 12.2. Anyhow guys, that's the entire future restore process. I hope this video helped out, and if it did, you know what to do. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.